Name is Kevin Don Akla. I'm a cardiovascular surgeon. I've been here at Florida Hospital uh, 18 years. And being a cardiac surgeon, I mean, it's, it's such a, a blessing and privilege. You know, I still wake up every morning before my alarm clock goes off. And, and uh, you know, I think it's kind of one of the indications to me that, that, that this is really one of the things that floats my boat or trips my trigger. I, I just enjoy not only the surgical aspect, but just the, the entire circumstance with the teams and, and the numerous people that are involved in this care of this one patient. It's difficult to put in a single sentence or a word, you know, what does it mean to you to be a heart surgeon, to have the privilege to work on people? Because it really, it's, it's, it's something that is, is awe-inspiring and continues to amaze me every day, even after 18 years and, and all the cases that we've had the privilege to do. I think, you know, in treating families, Again, it's a very stressful time period. You know, they've just, it's an OMG type of moment. I've got heart disease, and oftentimes with cardiac disease, it's not like they've been feeling bad. Sometimes they, they're told, you know, you've got severe heart disease, you need an operation right away, when they don't feel that bad. It's a scary time, particularly for people who maybe never been to a hospital, or maybe never um, been to even a town or a city as large as Orlando. So it's not only a scary thing for them, but for their entire family. And I was told years ago, you, you know, you want to treat the family or the patient like you'd want your mother or your father to be treated or your own family. I came from a very modest background in the Midwest, in Iowa, and things were very simple and people treated people as they would like to be treated and I've tried to maintain that so my mother doesn't call me on the phone and yell at me. Cardiac surgery is just not an isolated thing. It's not where someone goes in and they perform a, a procedure and they walk out. There's so many people involved. And from the, the teams to, to the pre-op, to the anesthesia, to all the nursing care, to all the people that get the, the instruments cleaned for you. So it's, it's truly just an amazing opportunity to go in and basically get to know someone, oftentimes very briefly. It is just an incredible privilege to get to know someone on that level. People say, well, well, you know, speak from your heart, you know, matters of the heart, you know, is it the center of your soul? And so to, to have the privilege, you know, in a layman's terms to deal with that and to potentially make it better to extend what they want to do. People say, well, you know, you saved my life. You, no, 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 I, I don't save lives. I leave that to a higher being. I just try to extend them so people can continue to do and contribute uh, what they want to do in life. And everybody lives happily ever after.